The Coleman Brazos is a budget sleeping bag that has earned itself the title of Amazon Pick. But is it any good? My name is Chris, and this is GearCash. Let's start off with some specs. The sleeping bag measures 33 inches across and 75 inches long. That means that if you are taller than six foot, you may want to consider a different sleeping bag as this won't quite be long enough for you. The sleeping bag weighs five pounds, five ounces, so it's not the lightest bag out there. And it is rated for temperatures between 20 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which realistically means that 30 degrees is a comfortable range. Anything lower than that, you're gonna to start to get a little chilly. As far as comfort goes, this is a rectangular sleeping bag, so it is gonna give you that little extra wiggle room so you can roll to your side or onto your stomach if you so choose as opposed to, say, a mummy sleeping bag, which has a little bit more of a confined space to sleep within. The inner material is a bit on the scratchy side, but this is a budget sleeping bag, so we'll give it that pass for the moment. And overall, the padding on this bag is pretty decent, so as long as you've paired it with a significantly okay sleeping pad, you shouldn't feel anything below you. Now, a couple of the key points about this bag. First off is the no snag zipper. Coleman has basically added a plastic housing around the zipper for this bag so that it is less likely to jam as you go to zip the sleeping bag up. And this does work pretty well. You can technically snag it, but it's definitely much, much more difficult to do than if they didn't have that sheathing in the first place. You do also have the ability to zip this sleeping bag together with a second one and thus make a one giant sleeping bag so that couples could sleep together if they would like. Another neat feature is that Coleman has added a couple of hooks and loops to the outside edges of this bag. When you go to roll the bag up, as you fold the bag in half, these hooks and loops now attach to each other, keeping the bag folded in half while you roll the bag up. However, this does lead me into a major drawback about this bag, and that is packing the sleeping bag back into the carrying case. There are several jokes about this on the Amazon reviews about how difficult it is to pack the sleeping bag back into the carrying case because of how small the carrying case is relative to the size of the sleeping bag itself. However, that aside, the sleeping bag is first and foremost a means of staying warm at night and it does do that quite well. So if you're willing to overlook the difficult packing process and you don't mind the slightly scratchy interior material, this is a decent starting backpack, especially considering its price point and it even comes with a five year warranty. Now this is no backpacking sleeping bag, all right? It's quite heavy and bulky, but for your car camping trips and especially for those who are just starting out, this is a great starting point. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button, get subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And if you have any ideas for future content, leave it in the comments below. We'll see you next time.